So I picked up one of my favorite football games ever, Backyard Football 2006. I wanted to see if we could go undefeated if we built a super team of all the pros and best kids. Will we be able to go undefeated and wipe all of our competition? Let's find out. So for this 16-0 challenge, we will be playing as the Packers, and here is our super team we drafted. Tom Brady, Torrey Holt, Brian Erlacher, Ernie Steele, LaDainian Tomlinson, Jocinda Smith, and Chicago Robinson. We're Opening up the season this episode with four straight road games. So let's go ahead, hit the road, and get the season started. So that brings us to our first game, and we are ready to kick off against the Bills here in a snowy backyard as they will feel this at the nine yard line. Take it past the 20. And just past the 31 is where they will take over. Third and seven, Matt Hasselback back to throw. That's going to be completed right side, spinning out of a tackle from LaDainian Tomlinson. And Tom Brady is diving, and he comes up with the tackle. As a fresh set of downs, Hasselback now throwing it right side, or left side, I should say. And Chicago Robinson is there. He forces a fumble, but the Bills would pick it back up. The second and two now. Trying a quarterback sneak up the middle. That's not happening. Trying to spin away from Brian Erlacher. He's going to throw it, and that's going to be picked off by none other than Chicago Robinson himself. So we will get our first chance on off. Offense. Tom Brady back to throw, rolling out to the right. He's going, that's completed, and once again, Chicago Robinson with his second big play in a row here for the Packers. First and 10 now, Brady back to throw. He has all day. He's launching this one deep. That's going to be completed to Torrey Holt for a touchdown, and we would strike first. Buffalo looking to tie it back up with this possession here in the second quarter. Hasselback all day. He's looking deep. He's launching deep, and that's going to be completed down to the five-yard line of Green First Bay. Down. First and goal right. from the five. Hasselback back to throw. He's going right side and that's going to be completed for a Bills touchdown as they would tie it back up. As under a minute to go here, Brady looking to lead the offense down the field. He's going to do just that as he connects with Torrey Holt for a huge gain for this offense. That's going to set up second and goal from the six. Brady back to throw looking he fakes left side, he throws right side, intended for LT, but that's going to be picked off in the end zone. And that is how the first half would end, as we are set to receive the second half kickoff here. LaDainian Tomlinson taking it from the four-yard line, and he is going to bring this up past the 30 for us and up to the 37. This is where we would start the second half and we would open up with a quick pitch to LT to the right side. He has the corner and more down inside Buffalo territory. He has the first down. First and 10 from their 44 now. Brady back to throw. He has all day. He gets it off in time. Left side to Torrey Holt. He has some room to run. One man to beat, but he will be caught. Third and goal now from the two. Brady empty backfield going left side. Torrey Holt holds it in for another Green Bay touchdown. As the backers would go up 14-7, 19 seconds left here in the third quarter. Matt Hasselbeck back to throw. He's going deep, and Tom Brady is there. Not throwing in interception, but forcing one as the safety. So we would move to the start of the fourth quarter now. Brady looking he's going right side he finds chicago robinson who's down inside the 10 yard line from the nine single setback tight end to the left a quick pitch to ladanian tomlinson he's taking it right side and he's into the end zone for the packers we would go up 21 to 7 a minute and a half counting to go matt hasselbeck looking launches deep left side that's going to be completed brian erlacher Diving, can't make the tackle. Torrey Holt can't either. And that's going to be a touchdown for Buffalo. As it's not over yet, they're right back in it. Only down by seven. But this first down run from LT should seal the deal. But he has more than a first down. Matt Hasselback can't catch up. Breaking down the left sideline, and LT is going to take this one, diving into the end zone for a touchdown for the Packers. As that should secure this one for us. Three seconds and counting left. Hasselback throws it backwards. That's going to be a fumble. Chicago Robinson picks it up. He has a chance to score a touchdown, but he will be caught at the last second. And we are going to win our week one matchup against the Bills 28 
to 14. On to game two, and we were taking on the Miami Dolphins this time. As they would start with the ball first and 10, back to throw. It's going to be a lateral sideways, and they're going to take off past the 20. Brian Erlacher diving. He can't make the tackle, and Tom Brady finally there with the tackle. As they would be pushed out of bounds at the 42. Now from the 48 on third and two, they would pick up the first down. Setting up a fresh set of downs. Brian Erlacher trying to get off the edge. That's not going to happen. Quarterback takes off, but they're going to fumble. And Ernie Steele is going to pick this one up at the 40. And that is going to be Green Bay ball. Our first chance now on offense. First and 10. Brady back to throw. He's pump faking, going left side. That's going to be completed to LaDainian Tomlinson for a first down. That would bring up third and five. Brady back to throw. He's rolling to his left, throwing right side. That's completed to Chicago Robinson. He's been a big part of the offense so far. In these first two games, is now Brady going across the middle, connects with Torrey Holt. As that would set up first and goal on the nine, Brady on the quarterback keeper to the left side. And he is going to be just short as that will bring up second and goal just short again. Third time is the charm. Brady up the right side, and he's in. Spikes it down for a touchdown. As we would go up 7-0 over the Dolphins as they take over on offense. Just over a minute and a half here to go in the first half. As with that quarterback run, they would pick up the first down. Brian Erlacher coming off the edge on a blitz. He's there for a sack. A huge loss in the backfield. That's going to bring up third and six. From their own 44, and a rocket launcher is going to be completed. The first power-up we've seen this series so far. As Marky Dubois would come down to that for the first down. Now dropping back to throw. Under a minute to go, and Torrey Holt is there for the sack. As time is ticking, second and 11. 43 seconds and counting. Jocinda Smith this time with the sack. Bringing up a long third and 18. Smith coming off the edge again. And Jocinda is there for another tackle. So they would end up punting here. Less than 30 seconds to go. LT back to receive the punt. He's going to field it at the 13. And this is going to be another power up a sky high jump. But he's going to put the football on the ground. Miami is going to recover. Can Torrey hold? save a touchdown and just barely he will so Miami with great field position from the Green Bay 8 they're gonna take off that's going nowhere though Brian Erlacher with the tackle and with six seconds left they're gonna send out the field goal unit and Miami will settle for a field goal to end the first half so we move to the second half up seven to three after that unfortunate way to end the first half Brady on the run on the right side as he's going to pick up the first down on this quarterback keeper. First and 10 from the 48. Another quarterback keeper for Brady this time to the left side. He has some wiggles. He's going to make one man miss. Can he make a second man miss? No, he won't, but he's down inside the 20. That would set up first and 10 from the 15. Brady back to throw to the middle, and Chicago Robinson has it for another Green Bay touchdown as we would go up 14-3 to over Miami. They're going to do a possible double pass, but the second option is going to decide to keep it, and they're going to pick up a big play down to the 30. Now up to midfield at the 50. All day in the pocket. Their quarterback is going to run, but then decide at the last second to throw it. And this is going to be a big play. LT can't catch him. And that's going to be a Miami touchdown. As they would go for two and convert. As that would make this only a three-point game near the end of the third quarter here. Just down to the 11. Corey Holt would have that one. Backed up to a second and 14 now from the 15. To the end zone and Torrey Holt has it again for another touchdown. A beautiful throw from Brady there. As that would extend this to a 10 point lead. 21 to 11 and Brian Erlacher is there for the sack. Third and 16. Big play needed here from Miami. They're looking deep. It's another rocket launcher pass but that's going to be knocked in complete. So we would take over with a minute and nine counting to go. And Brady with a flying dive out of nowhere. He's going to take this down inside the 20 make one man meet miss can he make Marky Dubois miss he does Brady takes this in for a touchdown is that would extend this lead but wait we're going for two I guess I called the wrong play and we're gonna convert on the two-point conversion to LT but with less than a minute to go we're up by 18 now 29 to 11 
Miami's not done though. Marquis Dubois on the out route. He has this inside the 40. He beats LT. Brian Erlacher is there. He forces a fumble, but it goes out of bounds. It's 35 seconds left to go now. They're dropping back to throw. It's another lateral. That's going to be a fumble, but they're going to pick it up down the right sideline. Brady is there for a touchdown saving tackle. First and goal from the six. 20 seconds left to go. Marquis Dubois has it in the end zone for a Miami touchdown. But all we would have to do is run the clock out here. LT on the pitch to the right side as Marky Dubois would come up with the tackle on him. And the clock would run out and we would walk away with a victory here in week two over the Miami Dolphins 29 to 18. And take a look at this. After that game, Tom Brady had a big day on the ground. He is 24th in the league for rushing. That's crazy. And so we have two games left this episode on the road. And week three, we would be taking on the Panthers back here in the backyard field. But this time, instead of snow, it's some rain. Panthers starting with the ball on their own 16 to start off the game. Dropping back to throw. Erlacher off the blitz. He can't get there in time. That's going to be completed. A huge play. No one in front of the receiver. They're running down in their flip-flops inside the 10. And this is going to be a touchdown for the Panthers to start the game. So we'll get a chance with the ball now, second and four, Brady back to throw, he's looking, he's going left side, that's gonna be completed to Torrey Holt, he has the first down for us. As under a minute to go now in the first quarter, handoff left side on the sweep play to LT, and he's gonna jump out of bounds. Bringing up fourth down, and we send out the field goal unit, for some reason, they line up in a field goal block thinking we're going to kick it from here, but we're not. And it's Chicago Robinson playing quarterback this time now. He completes the pass to Ernie Steele. He's going to take it for a touchdown, a huge play on the fake field goal. And I can't believe the Panthers defense fell for that, but they're going to strike right back as they seem to have found the perfect play to beat our defense, the exact same play they opened with. And to close out the first quarter, they're going to take this to the house for a touchdown and take a lead again. So this is the first time we've really found ourselves down in a game. 14-7. to We're going back to the out route on Torrey Holt, who he picks up the first down for us. And that's going to keep this drive alive. Brady now back to throw all day. He has Torrey Holt wide open, but that's going to be a little underthrown. But it doesn't matter. He slips a tackle and dives into the end zone as he falls into the black void of nothingness. And we would tie the game up at 14 apiece. Second and six for the Panthers now back to throw. And they can't get it off in time. Torrey Holt with the sack. That would bring up a third and nine. Quick pitch to the right side. Jocinda Smith, great job forcing them back inside. As we would force the punt on fourth down. Under a minute to go now here in the first half. Going right side. Brady connects with Robinson. He slips one tackle. And he's down inside the five. First in goal from the four. Quarterback keeper from Brady, he slips one tackle, jumping into the end zone for a touchdown, and we'll take our first lead of the day. With six seconds left to go in the first half, they're going to throw it, and that's going to be completed. Can Chicago Robinson save the touchdown? He can't. Is Brady going to be able to catch up to them inside the 10? And he's going to dive and knock them into the end zone with a power-up. That, okay, that's not what we meant to do. So they would tie it up on the last play of the second half. As we move to the third quarter now, LT is starting things off for us, picking up the first down on that pitch play. First and 10. Inside Panther territory, right side, that's completed to Chicago Robinson, just shy of the 30-yard line, first and 10. Is Brady now back to throw, he's looking, pressure coming, and he's going down for a sack. We haven't had too many sacks on the year yet, so I guess that's something good we can say about our offensive line, as on second and 14, that's going to be connected to Torrey Holt, as he has the first down, bringing up now a third and five from the 11. To the end zone that's completed for Ladanian Tomlinson another Green Bay touchdown as we would go up 28 to 21 Carolina looking right side that's gonna be completed I don't know how they're not out of bounds they have a foot on the line almost out of the line but they have a first from the 24 now dropping back to throw looking to the end zone Brady he isn't there. That's going to be a touchdown as they beat him deep for six. As a minute 28 left to go here, Brady rolling out to his right. He's going deep across the middle inside the 40. It's Torrey Holt. I don't know why he stopped running, though. Less than a minute to go now. Third and five. Brady back to throw. 
Left side, that's gonna be completed inside the 20 yard line. As we are now in field goal position, and Brady is just going to run up the middle and center the ball here for us. As we would run down the clock and Brian Erlacher looking to kick a game winning field goal. And he would do just that for us. As we're going to walk away with a last second win. 31-28 to over the Panthers to stay undefeated still. So that leaves us with just one more game this episode on the road. And we'll be taking on the Falcons and finally we'll be at a new stadium. This is actually one of my favorite stadiums in the game as the Falcons will start off the ball here on their first possession. That first pass would fall incomplete, second and 10, Jocinda Smith forcing them back inside for a minimal pickup. Third down, single set eye formation, dropping back to throw. They're gonna take off, Ernie Steele is there. He's gonna force the fumble, Jocinda Smith is gonna pick this one up. It doesn't look like anyone will catch her and she will take this for a scoop and score for the first points of the day. As we would go up seven to nothing over the Falcons here, they'll take back over just over a minute to go here in the first quarter. As they would pick up their first first down of the day. Now back to throw, Jocinda Smith is there with a big time sack for the defense. As she's been off to a hot start this game so far. She's coming off the edge again. She can't get there in time and they get off this rocket launcher pass Tori Holt finally brings them down as that would be their biggest gain of the day inside Green Bay territory back to throw Jocinda Smith again isn't there for the sack but Ernie Steele is as that would bring up third and 12 Jocinda Smith again off the edge and this time she's there in time for the sack forcing a fourth down but instead of kicking a field goal fourth and 22 they're gonna send out the offense or should I say keep them on the field and we're gonna get absolutely burned Tom Brady cannot make the tackle and Atlanta is going to score a huge screw up on our part giving up a touchdown on fourth and 22 but finally we get the ball for the first time here today as we move to the second quarter first and 10 Tom Brady he's gonna take it he's gonna break one tackle down the right sideline inside the 30 and down to the 20 of the Falcons he has been a big part of our ground game so far this year as that's gonna be completed to Ladanian Tomlinson down to the two yard line and it's going to be a handoff to LT and he's going to find his way into the end zone as we would take the lead back going up 14 to 7. Atlanta though looking to strike here before half that's not going to happen here as Torrey Holt comes up with an interception for the defense he's taking it back two men to beat can he beat them no he will not but he's inside the 10. Second and goal now from the seven Brady back to throw wide open as Torrey Holt and it's gonna bounce off his helmet. You can tell he was disappointed with that result, so he wants another chance. Brady has his trust in him, goes right back to Torrey Holt. This time he hauls it in for a touchdown. And we would go up 21 to seven, but still just under 30 seconds to go in the first half as that's gonna be completed on the out route. Brady just short on the diving effort. This is gonna be brought inside our own 40. First and 10 from the 36 now, dropping back to throw. They're going right side. Chicago Robinson lacking in coverage. He's diving. That won't work as Atlanta scores before half. And they would make it a seven point game as we head to the second half and opening up with a run to the right side with LT as he's going to pick up the first down for us. Second and four now. Brady back to throw. Pressure coming. He's going to get it off. And that's going to be completed to LT again for another Packers first down. First and 10 now from the 42. Brady back to throw. He's going to take off scrambling, but the pressure gets to him first. His first sack he's taken of the day, so second and 16. He decides to take matters into his own hands. He's going to get all those yards back and more as he's down to the Atlanta 30-yard line. First and 10 to go. Back to throw. He's looking right side. Chicago Robinson is wide open. He hauls that in, and Robinson dives into the end zone for a touchdown as that's going to put us up by two possessions 28 to 14 near the end of the third quarter here another rocket launcher pass that's going to be converted by the Falcons first and goal from the five now six seconds left to go wide open and that's going to be a touchdown it looked like they were out of bounds to me but it's going to count nonetheless so it is a one possession game here Breaking one tackle along the right side is LT into Falcon territory. That will bring up a second and 16 Brady. 
after just taking his second sack of the day, finds Chicago Robinson, but he can't hold on to it, so a long third and 16. He's going right back to him, though. He has trust in his receivers, and Robinson hauls this one in for a first down. And we would just have to run the clock out here on third and nine. Brady is going to center the ball here. Fourth down, we would send our field goal unit out. We want to make this a little bigger than a seven-point victory. Erlacher's kick is just short, though. But it doesn't matter, as we would walk away with a victory over the Falcons. And we would end this episode a perfect 4-0, one game above our rival, the Chicago Bears. And Tom Brady, surprisingly, is leading our team in rushing yards with 213. And look at this. Right behind Tom Brady, Chicago Robinson with 55 passing yards and one touchdown. Receiving-wise, Torrey Holt is leading the way with five touchdowns. 14 receptions for 302 yards. And Ladanian Tomlinson leading the way with 16 tackles. And Jocinda Smith with 8 sacks on the season. And next episode, finally at home for the first time with 2 games at home and 2 more on the road. So we're off to a good start. 4 games out of 16 and we are still undefeated. The real test will be seen if we can keep this up. Let me know down below in the comment section if you think we can finish 16-0 and sweep the playoffs and win the Backyard Bowl with this super team.